Hi y'all, welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you what we will be using for science for the 2020-2021 school year. So stay tuned! Okay, you guys, well, if you are new, welcome to my channel, Pursuing Peace. My name is Dina, and I am a homeschool mama of five kiddos, six and under. And on this channel, I share my passions for Christ, for homeschooling, and for encouraging mamas in their faith and in this crazy but amazing season of motherhood. So if you'd like to join me on this journey, then click the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to click the little bell icon so that way you know whenever new videos pop up. You can also follow me over on Instagram at Dina underscore Pursuing Peace if you'd like to get an inside glimpse on how this crazy thing works for us. <laughs> Okay, so it's that time of the year, you guys. Everyone is picking out the different curriculum that they're using, and I already have videos showing you what I am doing for our individual subjects, for my second grader, my first grader, and my preschooler. And I'm also gonna be doing a little bit on what we're gonna be doing with my taught schooler coming up soon. And I will leave all of that in a playlist linked down below so you can go check out those videos if you haven't already. And so today I'm kind of transitioning into family subjects. So we do do history and science and Bible um, as a family. The only things we really don't do as a family are like language, arts, and math. Everything else we do together as a family. And for those of you who don't know, my kids are still pretty young. Like I said before, I have a second grader and she is my oldest. And then I have uh, my boy is going into first grade and then I have a pre-K coming up and then also a toddler and then we also have a nine month old. So our house can get a little bit loud <laughs> and a little bit crazy at times, but I am trying to treasure this season of life because I know that it won't always be like this and just trying to cuddle up with them as much as I possibly can. And so that's why I wanted to do science and history and as many subjects together as a family as I could. So what I'm gonna show you today are specific science curriculums that we are going to use throughout the school year and some different science um, books, so like supplements that I will be adding on and just reading them aloud or having them read them throughout the school year. So without any further ado, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I've got. All right, you guys, so this isn't science, but I kind of wanted to fancy it up for you guys today. So <laughs> I'm working on redecorating or reorganizing our homeschool room, and these pieces were just kind of lying on the table, and I thought, oh, these are super cute to have. Um, so they're just going to kind of be in the background for you guys. So keep an eye out for that video coming up soon about our new updated school room. So the first thing I wanted to show you was kind of what we're using as our spine for our science. We do do classical conversations conversations as a family and we are part of a community. I have a um, playlist of some classical conversation videos that I have made in the past. I am planning on doing a little bit more about CC in the future. Let me know what you'd like to know about CC, whether it's like what we're going to use as supplements. I'm kind of going to show you that a little bit right now about for science, but um, or just if you're new to CC and you want a little bit more information, um, what to expect during a community day, you know, all of that nice fun jazz. If you would like any of that information, then please comment down below and let me know. All right, so we are going into cycle three. And the way CC works, it's got three cycles. It's got cycle one, which is over here in the book, and it's kind of like ancient history. Cycle two is like medieval history to kind of modern history, um, but it doesn't have anything as far as American history because um, cycle three is American history. And the way that CC works is at this level, it's basically memory sentences. Um, for instance, so week one, we will be memorizing a sentence about math, about the ones and the twos, about prepositions, Latin prepositions, four types of tissue in the human body, English, um, what's an infinitive, so we'll be memorizing um, what that is, timeline cards, um, one through seven, history, we'll be learning about Christopher Columbus for the first week, and then different states and capitals, um, and they, they go into more detail in the other pages about exactly what that is. And then for community day, we will be doing a um, blinking project. I'm not really sure what that is because I just kind of leave that up to the tutors and everything. <laughs> 
Um, and fine arts, we're going to be learning about basic shapes. Um, so that's basically the first week. And then, you know, week two, we'll go back into community day and learn more of this and then review these also. So you can do it if you have the really small kids like me, like for the first couple of years, all I did was we memorized the sentences and they have it to song and you can do hand motions and different things like that. And it's really super simple and the kids actually learn a lot and they absorb it a lot because that's where they're at like mentally like they just absorb everything if you have kids this age you know that they just they're like sponges right and so this here is kind of our spine for science and for history so this year for science we're going to be learning about the human body for the first semester and then we're kind of going into different things for the second semester, um, like the periodic table and um, a little bit of Earth's history, the theory of evolution, natural selection. This is a Christian-based curriculum, but teaching your kids the theory of evolution and what that all means is really important, I think, because it's teaching your kids to think for themselves. And you are wanting to train them in the ways of the Lord, but teaching them stuff like, you know, theory of evolution and teaching them about the Greek gods and the Roman gods, like that stuff that like even Paul knew, right? Paul in the New Testament, he knew that stuff. And because he knew that stuff, he was able to go and preach the word of God to those people and talk to them in a way that they could understand. And that's what I love about classical conversations is that that's the whole point. Their motto is to know God and to make him known. So all of this that we are learning, the purpose behind it all is so that way we can make God known. And I absolutely love that because everything that we do is for his honor and for his glory, even our homeschool, even education, even learning multiplication. It is all for his honor and his glory. So I love that about CC. So like I said, we are going to be doing the human body. So a lot of the supplements that I'm going to show you right now is going to be based on learning about the human body. So the first thing I want to show you is this. This is God's Design, Life for Beginners by Master Books. And this goes through plants for beginners, the human body for beginners, and animals for beginners. We are not going to be doing the plants and animals, but we are going to be doing the human body section. So this is a curriculum that is meant to go throughout the entire year. But like I said before, we're only doing the human body for the first uh, semester. And so we are only going to use this for that. I only bought one book because um, this book can actually be a little bit pricey. And um, you ca can't buy this one on Amazon. You have to go through Master Books in order to buy it. And so it was just a little bit much. I didn't want to have to buy three of them. <laughs> So I just bought one and I'm going to make copies. So this is the human body and it starts with the creation of life and then lesson two. These lessons from master books are very gentle and very short from what I have seen. And so I'm going to be using this kind of in our morning basket, which I have a video coming out about our morning basket soon, but I'm going to kind of incorporate this into our morning basket so it doesn't take up a whole like other time frame. We're just going to kind of put it into our morning basket rotation. But now it's teaching about cells. And I love this because it's got the tracing, which my kids, uh, my oldest can write on her own, but she's the only one. And so I love that it has that. So that way all of my kids can participate. And then it's got, you know, kind of fun games. This is going to be super fun. We're going to make a skeleton. Um, this is probably going to take up a little bit more of the morning basket time than, than normal, but I am going to do that because I think that's just a fun project for them. It tells you about bones, joints, a nice little coloring sheet here, using your muscles, our hands and feet and fingerprints nerves and senses. I am going to try and correlate these lessons to what we are learning in classical conversations. So for example, for the first week, we're learning about tissue. And so I'm going to go through these lessons and try to figure out, okay, well, which lesson talks the most about tissue? Um, and then when we do a sentence on the brain, then that week I'll do this one. So I'm not necessarily going to do these lessons in order. Oh, a memory game. That's fun. But I think that'll be okay. I haven't dug real deep into this yet, but I'm pretty sure that that's going to be okay. Our eyes and our ears and our taste and smell. We've talked about that recently a little bit. 
Um, and so I just like how short this is. These paragraphs here are not very long, but they always have looks. So collect several different items with strong smells and close your eyes and have them figure out what it is. So I like that they have just little things like that, little activities where it'll, it'll kind of teach my kids a little bit further. Our digestion, teeth, caring for your teeth. That's a big one. That's good. Eating right foods. Oh my goodness, you guys, we eat so bad. <laughs> this is something like I need to learn how to do a little bit better. Vitamins and minerals, the circulatory system. So the heart. Oh, wow. That's like an actual picture of an actual heart. That's so cool. Um, blood, blood cell matching, respiratory system. So yeah, so these, it just kind of goes through a little bit of everything. And like I said before, I'm going to be making copies and we'll just put the copies in their notebooks. And you know, when I say, you know, go to page, I don't know, 192, I think maybe they can figure that out, but I will also have this book to show them like, go to the page that looks like this, or I might just give it to them on the day of, you know, and then they can put it on their note in their notebooks. I'm not really sure. Um, germs that's appropriate for right now <laughs> and then the final project which is a body poster that's interesting because I'm gonna <laughs> and you'll see why in just a bit um, and so yeah and then it goes into animals and mammals and everything and so we're only going to use that section for right now but I know in CC we learn about like mammals and animals in another cycle and plants in another cycle so I can use this book for a few different cycles and so that's going to be really good that was pretty good investment the next thing I want to show you guys is this, My Body. And this book was actually recommended by CC. I think you can buy this book in their CC bookstore. But I found it in our local homeschool kind of consignment store. And so it was cheaper to go that way. <laughs> um, so this book, if you see here, Table of Contents, it basically goes through like everything. Your brain, all the way, gallbladder, stomach, liver, all the way down your face your tongue your ears so but what this book is is you're basically making a poster a big life-size poster of yourself and of your the inside of your body so we are going to lay them down on a poster board and outline their body and then cut it up and so when we're talking about the brain in CC we will cut out this so I'll make copies of this page We'll color it or whatever and cut it out and we'll learn about all these different facts and then we will paste that onto their life-size poster. And I just thought that that was such a good idea. I'm not really sure where I'm going to keep four life-size human body <laughs> posters um, in my house. <laughs> But it is well worth it, I think. I'm not sure what's, how that's going to all work, but I think it's going to be such a fun activity for my kids. So yeah, so basically it gives you all of these different things. And it does also give you the reproductive organs, but if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. It mentions that at the beginning of the book. Um, let's see, it's got bones. So look at this. This is going to be such a neat thing. So by the end of the um, school year, they're going to have like a completed um, human body. So something like this. So they're going to have a completed human body um, where they will be able to go and tell you what all of the different things are. And so I just, at first I didn't really know what this book was. And then when I started reading it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is like the best thing ever, especially for the age of my kids right now. Like it's just so good. And I'm actually going to give this to my little girl right now because she asked for it. So you can go ahead and go read it. <laughs> okay. So the next thing I wanted to show you here is the Esborn Children's Encyclopedia. And this not only has science, but it also has history in it. Um, but it's broken down. I will show you into the different things. So here's history, animals and plants. And then over here, it's got a section on the human body um, and so we are going to just kind of utilize this and again probably in our morning basket and just if we have questions we will kind of reference this so here are the pages that are in this one so there's so much information in these Usborne books you guys oh my goodness I love Usborne especially for this kind of stuff there's just so much information oh, 
baby. Um, staying healthy. And then it also has internet links, so you can just kind of um, go to the website there. Then you've got so much more information that you can access. And then it kind of goes into history. So we are going to be using this just kind of as a reference. Okay, you guys, um, this is a completely different date, but I wanted to show this to you. <laughs> Um, my kids are in the living room watching TV, so it might be a little bit loud right now. Um, but these are two other books that I got from Usborne that just came in that I wanted to add to this video. So the first one here is How the Body Works, and I think this is a fairly new addition to Usborne, and I absolutely love it. My daughter already this morning, like, went through and, as you could tell, like, lifted all of these flaps and, like, read everything that she could get her little mind wrapped around. <laughs> she just absolutely loved it. And she kept telling me, do you know this? And do you know that? And I mean, look at this, all of this about the brain. Oh, I love Usborne books. They are so good. Senses. Let's see, eating. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. So many flaps and so much information. I can't believe she sat there. She sat there maybe for about an hour just looking at all of the different um, flaps and reading absolutely everything. Like I forgot that she was there on the couch reading this. So this was um, amazing. I highly recommend this book. I also have another book. It's called Look Inside Your Body from Usborne. We can't find it right now, but I know it's in this house somewhere. Um, but I wanted to mention that book too, because that one is really good. That's kind of how she learned everything about the human body to begin with. And that kind of intrigued her. And so Look Inside the Human Body is really, really good. We got that when she was maybe about four years old and she couldn't get enough of it. Um, another one that I wanted to show you guys that I'm going to use this here. Um, it's not the human body, but it is the periodic table because we are going to go through that in CC and y'all, I know nothing about the periodic table. I am, <laughs> I'm so bad at that. So, um, this is going to be like the second half of the year. So the spring semester. And so this is also a flap book. You can't see the flaps very well because we haven't gone through them. But here are some of the flaps. Let's see. And I have not gone through this. This was literally delivered this morning. And so um, I have not gone through this yet, but I'm looking forward to it because I know that these books make these topics come alive. And so this is a topic that I know nothing about. Like I see all of this and you guys, it kind of makes me a little bit nauseous that I'm going to have to show, <laughs> show her what, what all of this is. But I'm so glad that I got this book because I can at least figure it out a little bit and I can learn right along with her, you know, and that's kind of how homeschool works. So yeah, so elements of life, let's see. Radioactive elements, oh man. I think that's the last one. So yeah, so this is a periodic table. I, I believe this is a new um book for usborne also okay the next thing i want to show you is inside your outside by dr seuss and this is so cute you guys it is a book that it's very hard to read this whole thing in one sitting <laughs> it's just got so much good information in it i highly recommend this book this is such a good one it's not very expensive i will link it down below so you can pick that up if you want to we have learned so much just from reading this book and my kids want to read it all the time to go along with this one we also have oh the things you can do that are good for you and this just kind of talks about exercise and a healthy diet um, and this one actually even has recipes in the back so the cat in the hats bow tie mac and cheese um on the go rainbows eat in the cars and so we haven't tried any of these but my kids want to try these so bad and so i want to make it a point to um try some of these this year <laughs> The next thing that I have here is Lift the Flap by Usborne, How Do I See? And this one is specifically talking about your eyes and how people see. I like this one because I wear glasses, as you can tell. And this is 
pretty accurate. Like this is what I see when I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> so I really like that one. Um, so I love these Lift the Flat books from Usborne. They are just very good, very educational. Um, so much fun. As you can tell, like they, they have been used a lot also. Like my kids love this. Um, we've had this book for a little bit. And so my kids go through and have read this. I don't even know how many times. I can't say enough good things about Usborne books and how they have just enriched our homeschool. Here is another Usborne book and it's a Shine a Light book. So basically how this works is you read this page. So it's talking about the fingerprints and then you take a flashlight and you put the flashlight on the back side of this. Let me see if I can actually show it to you. Yeah, so you see here, like you can see the fingerprints um, on the other side if you put light behind this. So you can either use a flashlight or like I did, you can just use the outside light. Um, but these are just so great. And then you can see it on the other side and it'll explain it a little bit more on the other side. These Shine a Light books from Usborne are super good. We have a few different ones and really enjoy using this. Okay, let's see what's in this basket. Oh, look, it's got little fun food in there. <laughs> so these my kids really enjoy. So we're going to use this one. And we also have the magic school bus inside the human body. And of course, we are probably going to be um, watching the magic school bus and all of their different, um, like, I think they have one about the senses. I think they have one about germs and eating healthy. So of course, we're going to be using all of these. These magic school bus books are really great. Um, again, they're one of the ones that you probably can't sit and read all at once, but my six-year-old, look, she, she flagged this one. <laughs> my six-year-old, time and time again, comes back to these books, and I just see her reading them all the time, and I find them, you know, kind of hidden all over the place. <laughs> so these Magic School Bus books are really good for homeschoolers. Well, really good for anybody, but I love having a bunch of these um, for our homeschool. And the last one I want to show you guys is this human body book. I actually found this at a library when we lived in Arizona and it's a pop-up book, but because it was a library book, it was a little bit torn up. And so what I did is I actually went and I just bought it <laughs> from Amazon because I loved it so much and I wanted it for my homeschool. So you open it up here and it talks about everything in the human body. So this one is what is the human body? body systems and skin and hair and here's where the fun starts y'all boom <laughs> oh my goodness like i love this now this is just paper so this goes on the shelf where my kids don't really pay attention to it this i only bring out when I know I can sit there with them or my my oldest two can probably use this and be just fine but I definitely keep this away from my little kids <laughs> but these are so good and it's such a good visual on how the human body works let's see there's another one ah! the brain and the eye right here i mean oh my gosh so you can see how this could easily be torn apart um, when it is with a library so a few of these things were missing but i could tell that it was a really good book oh, the eye. look at that and you can see all the different oh it's you can see through it you could ah oh, you guys i love this book this book is so cool like i can't even tell you how cool this book is intestines and all the digestive system oh, babies <laughs> we like babies around here <laughs> so yes so highly recommend this book if you are studying the human body at all so this is so good you guys all right, you guys, well, that's it. That's what we've got, and that's what we are using for our science, for our spine this year, and then also a few supplements. We also have the human body 
unit from The Good and the Beautiful. We have done it in the past and that one is not something I believe that I can do like during a morning basket time. And so I wanted to see if there was something else that I could do right now while my kids were still small and the life for beginners from Master Books seems to fit our family right now pretty well. And it's something easy that we can do that is fast and I think it's still educational for everybody. But if I find that I need a little bit more, especially for my second grader, then I will pull out the good and the beautiful unit and we will kind of figure out what to do from there. All right, you guys, well, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and it supports my channel so much when you give me a thumbs up because it lets the YouTube know that um, this video is good to watch and so it helps kind of spread it to other viewers so if you could give me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe i have so much great content still coming up i have a special surprise for our history curriculum and i have another giveaway included in that video for our history curriculum so make sure to subscribe so you know when that video pops up i also have our homeschool room tour coming up and our morning basket video coming up so don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you know whenever new videos pop up and let's be friends follow me over on instagram at dina underscore pursuing peace all right you guys well i hope you're having a blessed day and i will see you next week with another video bye all right so the first thing i wanted oh, of course <laughs> i'm not used to props so the first things at nope i can't pick this up <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> My kids are supposed to be napping, but they're all awake, running around.